All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be attempting the Butler County Donut Trail. So for those of you that don't know what this is, it's pretty much just a lineup of different donut shops around the Butler County area that you try and complete. So you have to get a donut at each place. So there's 12 total shops, I believe. So we'll be trying to complete all 12 shops by eating 12 donuts this morning and I told myself like after the half marathon that I was going to have like an ultimate cheat day of donuts so what better way to do it than hitting the donut trail and trying to get 12 donuts this morning so I'm going to take you guys through the whole morning I'm going to rate each donut and then have a donut tracker as well to count my donuts it's going to be the ultimate cheat day with donuts only I'm also accompanied by the Miss Abigail Helms. She's going to be trying to see how many donuts she can get to. We'll see if she beats me. I highly doubt it. But anyways, it's going to be fun. Ultimate cheat day with donuts only. So stay tuned. Check this video out. We also get a t-shirt um, if we complete it. So hopefully we, we get all of the shops down. And then we'll get a passport in this first donut shop. And they'll be able to track our progress. So nothing will be like made up. I won't be marking off myself. Um, the workers will be doing that. So keep me accountable. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this, definitely follow along. It's going to be fun. It's going to be delicious. And stay tuned. First donut shop down, Milton's Donuts. I got this peanut butter chocolate donut, so it's got like peanut butter filling inside. Gotta go hard for the first one. Give it one bite real quick. Yeah, that's fire. The peanut butter filling inside makes it so good plus with the chocolate mix that's the best combination that you can get so yeah this is definitely starting off pretty strong first donut it's about to be down in the books all right so we're going to be driving for a lot of these just because we'll be driving from stop to stop Last donut, I would say it was like an 8.4. It was good. I, I, it's just different. It was very different. Like it wasn't like the original like glaze or like chocolate ice with sprinkles or something like that. So it was different, but it was really good still. We have this new one on the lineup. They call it the ugly and it's huge. It's like very, it looks very filling. Um, I'm about to try it right now. That's fire. It's like a cake donut. It's like crunchy, but it's very, it's very like airy inside. It's really good. It's got like a glaze type taste to it. I'm going to go with just a little better than the last one. I'm going to go 8.6. Eight, 8.6 six. Eight, six on this one. It's really good. It's going to be hard to finish so I can already tell. Kind of making a mess too. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. All right. So next shop. I forget that, what that was called. Was it Martin's. Martin's Donuts. Um, we went with the glazed pretzel donut. Personally, I love glazed donuts. Like I just grew up eating glazed donuts a lot. So I'm a big fan of glazed donuts. Some people say they're boring, but oh well, it is what it is. That last donut was a little challenging to get down. It was only round two. So, but hey, you know, like sometimes that second set in the weight room is gonna be pretty challenging. You just gotta go for it. You just gotta complete it. Life's hard. You know, you're gonna have challenges. You just gotta push through. So that's what we're doing today with donuts. I'm about to try this one real quick. Mmm. That's good. That like melts in your mouth. The 
that's pretty solid. I'll go. See, I'm I'm just a fan of glazed donuts all together too. I'm gonna go nine, nine even on this one. Probably my favorite so far. All right, so this is stop number four. I went with a tiger tail, which she said is a glazed chocolate twist. It looks pretty good. So about to try this one right quick. Mm hmm. Mm, this one's really good. This one's top on the list. New leader right here. I'm gonna give it a nine four. This one's probably the best one. It's super fresh and just completely melts in your mouth. And there's so much icing too, it's really good. So I'm at, this will be my fourth. What are you at? Three in a donut hole. Three in a donut hole. She did leave a few bites of some of her donuts. So <laughs> we'll, we'll give it to her though. We'll let it pass, we'll let it slide. So yeah, the official count is four for me. So we're like a third there. And then four. You're not four <laughs> down. <laughs> Three in a donut hole. <laughs> That's the tracker for Abby. Okay, so we just got done with Kelly's. I already took a few bites because my photographer messed up the filming. <laughs> but this one's really good. I'll give you guys another try. It's similar to the last one we had. It's like a glaze with chocolate, but it's a different kind. And it's not as good as the last one, but still, it's pretty, it's pretty solid still. So I'll give it, I'll give it like an eight, six. That's my rating. I mean, all donuts I feel like are gonna be over an eight just because they're donuts and all of them are just sugary and delicious. But we're really trying to see like, which ones are close to each other, which one might battle it out for the top spot. So I'm gonna be a little bit more nitpicky going forward, but the, stop four that we were just at before this is still number one um so yeah i'm staying with this eight six for this one just hit up mimi's donuts and we got a cinnamon twist cinnamon sugar twist i feel like it could be pretty light because we're definitely hitting a point where it's like all right it's kind of getting a little bit more challenging to push through these donuts but still got about halfway to go so you know I want to stay on the right track with things I don't want my digestive system to get too out of hand but it might <laughs> so I'm gonna try this real quick give you guys a rating it's decent nothing to really write home about it's kind of it's kind of dry. So there's no glazing. There's no icing or anything. I'll give it like a seven two. Probably the worst one all trip, but hey, it happens. So on to the next stop right now, and hopefully this next one's a little better. So that was just the donut spot. I got just a glazed donut. Keep it simple. And they're smaller, so I was like, oh, cool. Like, it'll give me, like, a little break, whatever. And she's like, oh, she must have known we're balking. <laughs> and she's like, oh, like, they're smaller today. Like, I'll give you a two-for-one deal. I was like, great. So we got two-for-one coming in here to get a little gas and give us a little break to eat these and digest these a little bit. So stay tuned. Or wait, I'll try it real quick. That's good. First bite really good. I'll go I'll go eight. I'll go eight eight on this one. It's really good. I like the glaze. I I think glaze is just probably my favorite. So I'm gonna be a little more biased towards them. But this one's super fresh. You can tell it's really nice. Nicely made. So cool. Got a croissant donut at this shop. It's called Jupiter Donuts. 
was it? Juniper or Juniper? Jupiter. Yeah. I think it was Jupiter Donuts. But got this little croissant. Oh, that's good. It's different. It's like a blaze croissant, so I'll give it I'll give it an 8-4. It's good. But it's something like great. So yeah. Finish this off. We got like three or four more shops to go. Alright, so this is stop number eight, I believe. It was the donut spot by Milton's, I think. So it was similar, or it's actually the same place as the first place that we went to, but it's still on the trail, so we gotta go. We got a different one. We got white ice with sprinkles, and I'll give it a try. That one's super good. I wish it was like one of the first ones because like now nah, I think I'm just kind of getting tired of eating donuts but this one's good I'll give it I'll give it a solid nine even it's just gonna be hard to finish we're, we're coming close to the end and these are just getting harder and harder each one so stay tuned to see how many I get at the end stay on the donut man donut number nine a little glaze bow tie and it's getting very hard to finish these donuts. It's just like kind of a work up, like working up the courage to actually consume this is getting very hard, but almost there. That one's good too. It's so hard because they're good, but I'm so stuffed. That one's really good. Like, if this was like my first one, it would probably be like my favorite, but I'm like, can't really eat it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go based off of taste, not based on how I'm feeling. This one's probably like a nine, nine two. It's the final, the final count. It's really good, but I'm just getting very full. So this is donut 11. The last one was actually donut 10. I think I said donut nine, but this one's 11 and it's getting very, very hard to complete the donuts now. I'm very tired. Like all the donuts have just made me really tired and my stomach, the insides are just being torn apart right now. But <laughs> we're gonna power through. I got this blueberry donut at the donut dude. It looks pretty good. So hopefully it is. It's a nice little change of taste. That's for sure. I'll go. It's good. I'll give it an eight two. It's nothing special. It's just like a regular like blueberry cake donut. So yeah, eight two. Gonna try and finish this off. And then one more to go. So only one more, we're almost there. Stay tuned. Last stop, last donut of the trail. So this is our 12th donut of the day, Holtman's Donuts. It's actually pretty funny. This is where we, this is the first place we hit on our 10,000 calorie challenge video. So now it's the last place we hit on our next cheat day video. So everything kind of goes full circle here. Kind of interesting. And we got a coffee cake, espresso icing donut, and it looks delicious. And I'm gonna try this. Finish off the last one of the day. That's fire. That's super good. I'm gonna give this one, it's so different. Like it's so different from your standard donut. I'll go, it's definitely up at the top. It's like all the flavors combined just taste super good. I'm gonna go nine, I'll go nine two on this one. So it's near the top of the list. I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favorite, but it's really good. So, gonna try and finish the rest of this. 
I took a little break, like a few minute break. So I was able to digest a little bit of it. So I'm feeling a lot better now than I was like 20 minutes ago. So down this and I'll close out from there. So last bite of the coffee cake donut. Okay, so that was the last bite. My final count was 12 donuts. So I completed the trail, got a donut every spot. Abby was, I think, six donuts. So she she had a strong, a strong showing, but couldn't quite get the full 12 there, but that's okay. But yeah, really fun, really cool to check out if you guys are looking to do something on a Saturday morning um, in the Cincinnati area. But other than that, I'm gonna leave with this. I don't really recommend doing it all in one day unless you are trying to plan like an epic cheat day. It's not the healthiest thing to do. It's probably like one of the most unhealthy thing to do actually. But it is okay to indulge and you know treat yourself to a treat, uh, cheat day every once in a while. That's cool. But if you guys are wanting to have like a healthier um, take on your journey, go check out my lean bulk diet video and you'll find some healthier recipes that you can take in more consistently. But other than that, it was really fun and I'm really stuffed right now. But if you guys like this video, definitely leave a comment and a like below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.